All right, welcome back everyone. It's Noha here, and in this video we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one I'll be showing you guys how to get the Craters EMP-5, which is a legendary submachine gun manufactured by Dahl. Now, the red text of this reference is Dust Off the Beta EMP-5, plus 10% critical hit damage, plus 36% weapon accuracy, consumes 2 ammo per shot, 2.2 times and a 2 times weapon zoom. Damage is 560 times 2, accuracy is 80%, handling 68%, reload time is 1.9 seconds, fire rate is 12.73 a second with an 18 magazine size. I have an adopting zeroed Crater's EMP5, but you can get different prefixes on this weapon as well. You can also, you cannot get, I mean, any elements on this. It will always come with no element. Now, in order to get this weapon, we're going to be killing Agonizer 9000. You're going to want to come right here on the map to the Guts of Carnivora and just follow where I go. If you've done the story mission, you know how to get to Agonizer. It's pretty straightforward. Just follow the map until you get to, like, the big circle. And you're just going to take this elevator up by picking one of the little music buttons. And you go up, drop in, start the fight against Agonizer 9000. Now, previously, this weapon could only drop from one of the... Uh, uh, I think it was either pain or tear. Uh, on the first time you ever kill them, uh, they will actually drop out and you have to like finish them off. It's only there in the story mission. And that was the only way you could get this weapon doing this method. That you could only have, you only had one chance to get it. But uh, they changed it and now Agonizer 9000 actually drops the weapon so you don't actually get only one chance to get it which is pretty cool. There are also two other enemies that drop in the Valkyrie Squad and Wotan the Invincible, which is the raid boss in the uh, Malawan Black Site, and also the Valkyrie Squad is also in the Malawan Black Site as well. They're the little mini boss you get before you get to the raid boss. Uh, if you guys know, rather, I don't really have to show that off because most of you guys probably know where that is and everything about that. But I'm just going to show you guys, I wanted to show you guys the Agonizer 9000 one because previously you might have thought that it would drop from either pain or tear because of what they had it as before. But here's the drop right here. There it is right there. Now I'm to show you guys some gameplay. Downsides of this weapon, low magazine size, high fire rate means you're going to be reloading a lot. Good thing about this weapon, it doesn't matter because it's really good. So this weapon is really good. You have the quick reload, even though you have the even though you have the high fire rate, low magazine size, you have a really quick reload, and the weapon is really good, so it's worth it. I really like using it. It, um, it always comes with no element, which can be a little bit of a down uh, a downer because you know you won't have a chance to get an element if you're using like an elemental build. You really won't be able to take advantage of that unless I mean, you can't the you can get an anointed version of it that it gives you like I know there's some anoints that like after action skill ends the next two magazines give you like you know bonus corrosive damage on top of that or something like that you know you can get something like that to go along with it which will work but like I said the downside of this weapon is that it has a low magazine size and com coupled with the high fire rate you're gonna be reloading a lot. And the good side of it is that that really doesn't matter, to be honest, because the weapon is just really good. And I definitely recommend using it. It's a, it, killing bosses, it's okay, but really it's a mobbing weapon. Really good mobbing weapon. Uh, I really enjoy using it. I really enjoyed running around with it for this gameplay here on Athena's. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, especially coupled with my fadeaway uh, critical hit flak build. It's doing really good damage. I'm really liking this weapon. But, yeah. That's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, one more quick thing. I almost forgot. This was one of the legendaries that was added during the Malawan Black Site DLC. You have to be on Mayhem 4 in order to get this weapon. Uh, now that I, I mean, I'm already way through this commentary, so I'm probably just going to put it in the pinned comment, too, uh, since I forgot to say it. But you have to be in Mayhem 4 in order to get this weapon. Whatever you, Whoever you're killing, whether it be Agonizer or the Valkyrie Squad or Wotan or whatever, you have to be in Mayhem 4 in order to get this weapon to drop. This one, and there was a few more that was added whenever the Black Sight little uh, mini DLC came out that uh, added some legendaries in that you have to be on Mayhem 4 in order to get them. 
But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.